Welcome back to another all new episode of Texas Boys Outdoors. Roy here, we got Hardhead Jeff. Gonna head out down south to South Padre Island, Mansfield, old school TBO road trip. You guys check it out. In the Noah, Texas Boys, got a little shark with a black tip. Finally got this orange down on the ground. Nice bucket here. Welcome to Texas Boys Outdoors, where we're all about giving back to our heroes and showing kids the beauty of the great outdoors. All right, so as you guys know, man, the virus has really just shut a lot of things down. We've had several months now where a lot of us haven't gotten to hang out, haven't been able to do a lot of fishing or TBO trips. We figure it's time to get together. The crew's gonna meet up in Houston, gonna head down south, have a good old fashioned Texas Boys road trip, Texas Boys style. So Jeff ate some tacos earlier from a not so a little hole in the wall place, a little skeptical about it, and he's been in the bathroom here for about 30 minutes now. We're trying to get to South Padre, but I think we had a little, Jeff had a little blowout. What happened, buddy? Huh? What happened? I 30 minutes up, later. I filled up y'all's tank, and then I went in there and got a bag of chips. And we gotta edit that part out. Good job, Roy. We're doing a little road tripping. Took off from Houston about one o'clock today, all the way down here, about to be in Port Isabel, Texas. Gonna head to South Padre Island. It's the most beautiful water you got in the whole Gulf of Mexico over here, so it'll be a cool deal. Got Big Zach driving. Hardhead Jeff's in the back playing poker, I think. I'm about to raise on your... <laughs> he's playing with my accounts. So I think he's about to go all in with a 7-2 offsuit. Hey, you got be awesome. Oh, do I really? Yeah. Oh, here, we gotta see if we win this hand, hold on. What should we do with Ace King? What are you gonna do, Jeff? He's like, it ain't my money. <laughs> All right, let's we'll see how we do. Come on, flop. If we hit the, if we hit the flop, won. oh, one, good job. A whole dollar twenty, big baller. Woo. All right, you guys are gonna be an action-packed week. Stay tuned. So here we are, finally down here, you know, eight hour drive, South Padre Island, Texas, one of the most beautiful areas in Texas. Gonna see a lot of old friends. You got Captain Brian Barrera, our buddy Joe Swoboda's down here. Got the, the Heaven Lewis, Vern Lewis family, love those guys. We're gonna get out here, we're gonna separate in two boats the first day. We got Jeff going out with Captain Joe Swoboda, Army veteran, good friend of ours. I'm going out with my buddy Captain Brian Barrera, gonna go out and chase, chase Tarpon. You guys check it out. All right, good morning. First morning down here in South Padre Island, Texas. Gonna get out and Bounce around a little bit. We got our buddy Joe Spoda from the United States Army. Gonna take some guys out. These guys had a, a few too many wine coolers last night, so they're a little sl slow this morning. But Joe's ready to rock. Got the big booty Judy over there, ready to go. We're gonna get out with buddy Captain Brian Barrera, one of the locals down here, with top guy. Get out and try to do it to it. You guys stay tuned. Let's have some fun. South Padre Island, we're all pumped up, but day one for my boat was a really tough deal. Wind's blowing about 30 miles an hour, no fish, just a, just a tough, tough deal, but apparently the other boat. We had no issues. I mean, the, we had the same weather. We had, oh. we caught limits of trout. We had a good day. We did have some ca uh, camera malfunctions, but we had a good day. So you got, you got both sides. What's up guys, we're out here with Jeff, Joe. Come on, get this guy. I still don't know his name yet. We're still working. 
Anyways, we're out here, South Padre Island. Roy's out chasing like big minnow, big minnows. Big what? Big minnows. Big minnows. But we're out here. We're gonna check some trout, some redfish. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, what are you doing? Try to get this slime rocket off of here. Get yeah. pretty good sized gas up. I mean, we caught bigger. I mean, it's only taking like 15 minutes to get the hook out of They're just in there. So. until you lose a hat. <laughs> oh, snap. More than Roy caught some of the field. More than Roy caught, Roy didn't catch nothing. Man, we had a heck of a first day. As you guys saw, a tough deal for my boat, but my boy Captain Brian's a stud. You know, that's how it goes sometime with the weather. Apparently, the other boat did a good job, and you guys got a chance to go out and do a little night hunting, right? Absolutely. Uh, Joe Savota and Corey, the hog sniper, they took us out. Uh, they had some public land that they're having issues uh, with the uh, new guy coming off this public land and ruining these farm crops. And we had the opportunity to go out there with the thermal and try to get some new guy pigs, uh, some predators. All right, guys, Zach here. We're down here in Brownsville, Texas. We're with our buddy Joe, Frankie, and Corey. Corey reached out to us, man. They got these new guys overrunning this property. Uh, some of the farmers asked permission to ask Corey to get down here and take some of these off. So we're going to get out here and get it done Texas boy style. Y'all stay tuned. any luck we, we did see some new guy we did see some pigs they were uh, out of range we had a strong crosswind uh, we tried a couple opportunities to uh, stock up on them but we were unsuccessful but overall it was still awesome hunt it was a really cool time well we had a fun action-packed day one little fishing little hunting we're gonna recruit be ready to rock and roll tomorrow morning. We're gonna separate into two boats. We got Captain Larry in one boat, Captain Luis in one boat. They're both my buddy, Captain Brian Barrera's buddies. Gonna get here and do a little drift fishing in the wind, artificials. Let's see if we can get it done. You guys check it out. Good morning, we're here in South Padre Island, Texas. We're gonna go out with our buddy, Captain Luis. We got a, a veterans going out with him. They're gonna go out and do some drift fishing. We have our group of the, the non-veterans, probably gonna whoop their butt, but we're gonna get out, try to do it to it. Two boats can catch the most fish. You guys stay tuned. Shook. I thought it was about a 22, I'm Captain Luis Blandes out of South Padre Island and a uh, fishing guide out here. And, you know, fishing the Lower Laguna Madre is a very unique, unique place. You know, I grew up here all my life. And uh, the thing about this place, what makes it so special here is the abundance of uh, species. You know, there's so many different species you can catch out here. So it's very unique. We got real shallow flats. And, you know, uh, right now we're fishing a little deeper, but uh, we're targeting trout and 
Uh, you can catch just about everything here. You know, your, your Texas redfish, your speckled trout, snook, tarpon, you know, and flounder, black drum. Uh, you get the mangroves. We got we got a good variety of species here, so that's what makes this area pretty special and, and special to me. Dude, he's so y'all up. <laughs> so see, we got Luis out here, our guide. But he's supposed to be putting us on the fish, <laughs> not himself. I mean, he put us on the fish. And he, he did. Just he put us on the fish. I'll pass. I'll pass you the rod right now. <laughs> Hey, Roy, you want to see what trout looks like? Roy's over in that other boat, probably crying right now because these Army boys and, you know, that one Marine Corps guy filming for us. We're getting it done today, boys. And that's what's called Any hookup. Fish. Double hookup. Double up. Bigger. Hey, Andy's bigger. What? <laughs> Andy's, right on. Bro. Andy's is a good size for your trout. Yeah, right on, right on. Double go. Good job, guys. Look at that slick, too. Yeah. We'll send this to Roy. What an awesome time down there in South Padre Island. It, it really is, as Jeff will tell you, one of the most beautiful bays in the entire state of Texas. But we're going to pack up. Head up north a little bit. My main man, Captain Mike McBride, up in Manfield waiting on us. Got Captain Joe Prado waiting too. Gonna head up there, have a little fun, do a little fishing. Stay tuned. So here we are, another beautiful bay in the state of Texas. We got Port Mansfield. We got Captain Mike McBride helping out. Captain Joe Prado, just another young cat that can really get on there and catch him. Got the guys all ready to rock and roll and do a little wade fishing. Check it out. No, no, this sounds but like I a good... I put my pole down because I'll drift in too, but I think we need to be up here a little farther. Just uh, don't dip the camera in the water. Or bait, I'm seeing. <laughs> just a tip, man. Just a tip. No, just a tip. It, it don't reach the no, water. That's good. That's good. Do you guys know the, that glow with the chartreuse tail? Not glow, but like glittery white, whatever. Turning off with a dink. Yep. I'm on the board, sort of. care of these fish when you unhook them, especially when you got them on a top water. They are the future. <laughs> I'm like why why is that why is that new moon important? Man you tell me the man that can answer that question I'll talk I'll show you a liar. We don't know but over all the years of watching logs and, and watching what the ancients wrote about, there's something to that moon phase. You know, going into a big moon with its newer full, we see increased activity. We see more and more activity in smaller and smaller windows. That's when we see that blue planet Earth stuff going off, you know, stuff dying and flying out of the water. And there's another phase too. There's a moon rise, moon overhead, moon set, moon underfoot. And we don't know. 
but we've just washed it and washed it. And now there's a lot of overriding factors. There's no question about it. There's Brahmer, there's weather, there's wind, there's temperature. But day in and day out, the conditions are the same. You can almost set your clock by that moon. And who knows why? You, you who knows? I would just say that I would suggest being your high, highest percentage spot during one of those windows. Like the moon rise overhead, moon setting. We just, we don't know why. So man, first day in Mansfield, what a great time. Had the whole crew out there and I can't say nothing about my main man, Mike McBride. Jeff, what do you think about old Mike McBride? Man, it was, it was special fishing with Mike. He, uh, he's the most knowledgeable fisherman I've ever fished with. He is, he was awesome. I learned a lot from him and I enjoyed it and it was a great time and he's a great fisherman. And he's a character, so if you don't have fun and learn with Mike, you're doing it wrong. So what an awesome day. Been up since five o'clock in the morning, but this is Texas Boys Outdoors. No time to rest. We've got a crew that's gonna go out Try to get it done on some wild hogs, do a little thermal predator control. You guys check it out. So we're, all, we're kind of excited. You know, a lot of us hunters, one of the things we enjoy doing is when you get someone that's never shot a hog or never shot a deer and get their first one. And my man, Josh. Got it done on the first time. Drop the hammer on it. We got a, a big board, looks like, down over here. So let's check it out. I think we got one I shot down, too, but mine took about 17 shots. So what a great time out there. Just a cool deal doing a little thermal hunting in South Texas. Appreciate Joe for getting us out. And big props to my main man, Joshua Baker, United States Marine, got his first hog. Got it done Texas boy style. I got a look lucky there at the end and got me one too. So I'm gonna hit the hay, get a little rest, get it done tomorrow morning, get out there, do some fishing on Mansfield again with Joe, Captain Mike McBride. Stay tuned. on my boat to keep it tight. <laughs> and don't do a fish. <laughs> After a fun night getting a uh, private concert from Mike McBride and uh, producer Pat, we uh, we got up early. Uh, Roy and them decided to sleep in, so me, Zach, and Joe, we we hit the water a little early and we uh, we we jumped ahead of the cameras, but we we did good. How'd you guys do? Well, you snooze, you lose sometimes. In our case, you snooze, you win. <laughs> Went out there, old Mike put us on them. Had producer Pat, Josh Baker whacking the speckled trout, getting it done Texas boy style, and you guys check it out. It was a pretty cool deal. My buddy Mike McBride, wind's going about 30, but still catching them. Got about a 22 inch trout. I could not mess it up. Got him. That's a little bit better. Nice. Down South Lure, spicy pumpkin. That's kind of one of the ones we've been after, right here. Thanks, man. Push on this rod. Yeah, brother, you brought me. You get your rod. Probably just under. Just there, you got it. That that that's a keeper. He's probably right at 50, that's 15 and a half, probably. Little Texas two-step action. Oh, pretty red fish. Little rat the, reds. The, Put up a good fight. Take your hook like this and just push down on it. And easily, easily, well. Pop them right out. You can see we're coming in here to the Port Mansfield Channel in here. You got this, the wind's pumping, like we said. You got the beautiful water cover change line. And what's the name of the condos over here, Mike? That's Pelican's Point. Pelican's Point, beautiful place. You're looking for a rental to come down with the family? 
awesome, you know, real clean, everything's nice, great place to stay. Get up here, clean these fish, and you guys check it out. Been an awesome time down here. Started off in South Padre Island, had a great two days there, then came to Port Mansfield, one of the most just beautiful bays down here. Both of these bays are truly just beautiful, beautiful places. Had the whole crew with me, man. Peace, appreciate my good buddy, Joe Prado, getting us out here. Yeah, no problem, man. My old, my old fishing buddy that I've learned quite a bit from over the years, one of the best in the business. You know, they call him Mick Trout for a reason. <laughs> Blowing about 30 miles an hour out there today. We had a couple guys, the camera guys actually, don't even fish a whole lot. Out there whacking them on plastics, and I'm sure a lot of these guys struggle with live bait, so that's just a testament to both of these guys. I'm Rowan with Texas Boys Outdoors. Had an awesome road trip. We'll see you guys next week. So, man, the coronavirus 2020 Texas Boys Outdoors road trip comes to an end. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Really want to thank Captain Joe Scoboda helping out, Captain Mike McBride, Joe Prado, Brian Burr down in South Padre, and, and Lewis and Larry. Awesome guys down there. I'm Texas Roy. I'm Hardhead Jeff. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, the website. We'll see you next week.